Hi, digital planners. This is Tina Phillips from A Wild Plan, and this is my third video in a series on just kind of going over the process from start to all the way to just playing around with your new planner. And in previous videos, I've gone over downloading from Etsy uh, from your iPad and just basically moving things over from GoodNotes 4 to GoodNotes 5. And now I've kind of looked, I am now looking at GoodNotes 5, and this is where I am right now in the dashboard. And um, one of the things I had talked about when moving things from GoodNotes 4 to GoodNotes 5 is you can tell GoodNotes 5 just to import all your things. And I do believe it's just going to go look through your backup and just pull everything from your GoodNotes 4 backup and pull it into 5. And you have that ability right here under the settings. Um, just import data from GoodNotes 4. You have that. It's pretty easy. Um, I don't completely trust all of it. Uh, I've seen some people have uh, some wonky uh, results from that. It might have gotten more stable, so I can be told I'm wrong and just go away. This is a lot faster, and that's perfectly fine. This is, this is your app. You do what you want to with it. But I'm just kind of showing you uh, that as an option. And what this video uh, that I'm talking about today is just kind of creating new folders and categories. And GoodNotes 4 they kind of classify these as master categories and categories. And that's kind of what I had talked about when I organized my sticker sets. And um, now in GoodNotes 5, they just simply have folders. And that's so much easier. And um, I will show you right now how to create that. As you can see, I kind of have three folders right now that I've created, journals, planners, and sticker sets. And to create these folders, all you need to do is just go to that little box with the dotted line around it with the plus and tell it that you want a new folder. And you just name it my new, or I'll just call this washi. And uh, then you hit done. And there it is. And you can even go into here even more and make new folders and just keep making subfolders. So if you have like a certain shop, like a wild plan that you bought something from me and you want to keep your stuff organized by store so you know where it came from, that's an easy way to do it. And then all you have to do, like this is going to be a sticker set that I have right here. When you want to, when you have all these things, when you import, it always kind of imports it right into the Dropbox, right into the dashboard. Um, there's these little arrows by each uh, each file that you have, and you have the option to duplicate it, move it, or export it, or just trash it. And and just to, if you want to move it, you have two ways of doing it. You can just click on it and hold. Like this is a journal right now, and just click and drag on it, and stick it in journals, and there it is. Um, and then I just want to put this in sticker sets, so you just drag and drop sticker sets. This is a planner. I'm going to move that here. This is another planner. I'm going to move that here. And one of the other things I recommend is also creating a new uh, create a new folder when you first get in here, and you can either call it Masters or Originals. And the reason why I tell people that is they're always so worried about they're going to mess up their planner when they're, especially when they're first starting out. They're like, oh no, I deleted a page or I deleted those. What do I do? What do I do? Anytime you get a new planner, what I would recommend doing is duplicating it. it. Just duplicate the very, as soon as you import it, you want to come in, tell it to duplicate, and it makes a copy. And then you can move that, especially if you're trying, if, you, if you're like in a folder and you want to go back out, that's what that move is for. You want to go back out and have it move into masters. And so now you have a version of it just sitting there waiting. If you if you accidentally mess up the other one, it's okay because you still have the original one to, to go off of. And that's really all there is to it on that. Um, and then let's see, let's see, I have saving master copies, duplicating, creating categories and master categories. And that's really all there is to it. Let me just show you, this is also, I might as well go over how I organize my sticker sets. Um, I actually have a, a planner, a thing called sticker sets and good notes for, I haven't totally organized this just yet. So you can kind of see, I have some functional stickers, some fun stickers, and then washi stickers. And what I can do is uh, go ahead and create these folders for that. Here's my washi stickers in here. Uh, let's see, just uh, functional stickers. And that's why I really, I don't see the point of using sticker books. Because it's, it's so nice when you open up these folders, you, you see that front page. And most of all my deliverables for sticker sets are on like my own little personal stationery. So you get, when you actually, when you get my sticker sets, you see where my a wild plan, you have my, my website, which has access to everything on my other channels like YouTube, Etsy, everywhere you need to go. 
And sometimes they're all, this one probably does not have two pages. This one does not. Um, but some of my sticker sets do. They have multiple pages. But I would never really go that far to make a ton of pages. But it's just enough to kind of see what, what what's in that set. And so you have the ability to kind of at a glance know what set you're looking at. And it's a lot easier than trying to um, wait for a huge sticker sticker uh, book that you've created that has like hundreds of pages, way too many stickers. It takes too long and should something happen that gets corrupt, you've lost that sticker book. And this kind of like takes away that risk. I mean, yes, a file could get corrupt at some point, but you're not losing all of it. So this actually, you know, if you have auto backup set up, um, properly and everything back up to, to their, your iCloud, then you should have no problems. Um, and it just makes things a lot faster because you, you shouldn't have to look through 500 stickers just to find one. Um, so, and these are all pre-cropped. That's, that's the beauty of buying the pre-cropped ones is that you can have them all ready to go and set up to go. And that's, that's really all I have to talk about that. I think in settings, you really should do back. You can have the idea of backing up your um, your data and it looks like it requires you to use iCloud um, to do your backup on and it does it automatically and you never really should see it I think it's it's just called like GoodNotes backup that's what it was in four but it might they might have changed the name of it so for people who have both GoodNotes four and five um, so you never really should have to go in there uh, to get anything unless and something catastrophic happened. And that's really all there is to it on organizing your stuff. It's not that hard. It's pretty easy, drag and drop. And that's that's all this video is about. So I will talk to you guys later. Uh, the next video, um, I will be talking about looking in a planner. It's uh, overall planners and just kind of how to do basic tasks in GoodNotes 5 with your, with your planner. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.